How the hell you doing, Brainiacs? Long Allen Ice T here, ready to talk Pudo with you. It is Wrestle Kingdom 13. January 4th is quickly approaching. Get a couple of days, and tonight, yes, this is Wednesday evening of. Wrestle Kingdom 13 week. We're dropping this show just in time to preview it. Brain Buster Radio style. Everybody's got their New Japan Wrestle Kingdom previews, but nobody is doing it like the Brain Busters. Brainiacs, tweet it, read it, tout it, shout it, be all about it. And what the hell does that mean, like the Brain Busters? Well, that means you got Long Island Ice-T here with Dr. Mil Calzonas on the Unos and Doses. And Doctor, I know you've got great sounds, we've got some tunes, and we've got some matches to talk about the biggest night in New Japan. Long Island, I have been preparing the last couple of days because it's gonna be on extremely late for us. So Fuck yesterday him. I was up yesterday I was up until four in the morning just training. The day before that I was up until three, and the day before that I was up until two. It's just train, train, train because Rest of Kingdom is only a, what is it, a day away? It's one day away. One day away as of most of the people listening to this show because we're dropping it way too late. But fuck them as 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 Bad luck Fale would say, right? Right, Dr. Kalsonis? We're getting it in, and we're ready, because I've been watching every single New Japan show. I've been watching all the preview shows. I know you have, and I'm ready for what is going to be an amazing card in the Tokyo Dome. Fuck them! Fuck them! Yeah. Fuck them! I'm, I'm extremely excited, but I'm a little disappointed, though, Long Allen. Why? Are you, everybody knows that's been listening to BBR. My favorite thing about Wrestle Kingdom. What's my favorite thing about Wrestle Kingdom? It, it's got to be, is it Bad Luck Fale? Is it is it Gorillas of Destiny cussing left and right? Oh, no. I, I just, I'm just glad there's no one there having to press the censor button because, man, that person <laughs> will be making their money that day. Just like, beep, beep, it, I don't even think he would even ever leave, the finger would ever leave the button. If you motherfucker. There. I don't give a fuck about you. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck you. There's going to be fuck, a lot fuck, of cuss fuck. words. Yeah, probably. But I, I'm super excited, but a little disappointed. That I hate your fucking life. life. Sorry. I just get in the mood. It's Wrestle Kingdom. Oh, yeah, of course. Of course. <laughs> uh, I'm just disappointed about one thing that they won't be having this year. And that, that is the Battle Royal that they have every, pretty much uh, every year. You're no right. That's not, that's not on the card. You're right. It's, do you think we could get a surprise Battle Royal? What, it's usually the pre-show. What's our pre-show match? Because I know Vidman's pretty excited for the pre-show match that was announced instead of the, of the New Japan Rumble. Uh, we have one of the, some of the competitors are, uh, I haven't seen them yet, but I know, I know the guys in it, but I haven't seen them as a group, which is MVP, which is most violent players, which is to, uh, Togi Makabe, Yanu and Tagaguchi versus my favorite, uh, Blue Justice, Nagata, Jeff Cobb and David Finley versus Chaos, which is Goto, uh, Beretta and Chucky T versus Suzuki Gun, which is one of my favorites, Suzuki, Archer, and Davy Boy Smith Jr. versus the Elite, Hangman Page, Yujiro, and Marty Scroll. That's a that's a lot of names to say for a pre-show match. Yeah, it's not as many as a New Japan Rumble, but it's pretty exciting that the most violent play, players are, I, I guess, you know, what's left of the old GBH, and, and they're putting it all together now. Togi Makabe still leading men. You've got a mixture there. You've got... Yuji Nagata, Jeff Cobb, David Finley. They're, I don't know. I think I might pick them to win that. That's that's a lot. That's a lot of meat right there. What, what, but then you but then you look at chaos is still kicking somehow, some way. Even though Ghetto leaves and and I don't know what's do they have a leader and wh why is Goto on the pre-show? I think is why what most people are asking about this match. I, I him and Hangman Page should have just been given a one-on-one -on, -one on the main card. But the main card, you, you know, it's it's Wrestle Kingdom. That's just, yeah, it's stacked. Every match has to be for a championship, except for one, right? There's only one non-championship match on the main card, so sorry to Hiroki Goto and, and and the Hangman, but they get to fight for a number one contendership to the most um, important six-man tag team championship, I think, in the world. Would you say this is the most important six-man title in the world, the never open weight uh... six-man tag team championships? I'm, I'm going to say yes just because I only <laughs> I, don't, I don't know anymore. I don't know the other six men. Tag. Or I think maybe Ring, Ring of Honor, Honor has one, right? Yeah, Ring yeah, of Honor no, has no. theirs. Fuck them! <laughs> I can even who has those titles? I can't even name one person who has a championship. Uh, of it, which the, of, the, of, the, of the these? The ROH one. No, the, the ROH one. Uh, I want to. I'm going to say the Kingdom. My guess is, is the it, Kingdom. Uh, 
That's yeah, the only three man team I can think of. That's the only three man <laughs> team I can think of. So then who do you have in this big match? This gauntlet it's a gauntlet match, which I like better than a three on or you know, th- triple threat tag match. It's gauntlet so, style, which means uh all the six man tags aren't gonna be in there at once. It's gonna be three on three and then three on three and then three on three. You like um, that better? Okay. Gauntlet. Yeah, I do. I actually, I actually like that just because it won't be all over the place. Um, I, I like it because it's more entrances too. Yeah. And as long as Wrestle- we can hear some theme songs, I'm good. Yeah. Wrestle Kingdom's all about the theme songs and the entrances. So we'll get more during this. Which team you got winning? Uh, well, if Yanu starts, if, t- if the MVP start off first, I'm going to say they will not win. And just because I know Yanu can pull out a, a victory out of nowhere. He maybe grabbed the tights. Maybe a little low blow, but I don't think that'd be working more than once. So if they're if they if they're early, I don't see them winning. I'm gonna have to go with. Jeez, man, this is very tough. I'm gonna have to go with chaos winning this. I'm gonna go with chaos. I'm gonna go with Goto, Beretta, and Chucky e. T. Goto with the, the best. Wait, do, go, Goto and the best friends. Yeah. Wait. Do, do they face in the card, or is this for like a future thing? What do you mean? Yeah, because it says to determine the number one contender. Do they get a shot at the next show, or is it the same night? I don't think this is a same night type deal. I think this is going to be a, a somewhere down the ro- road number one contenders match. It's very confusing. That's why it should have just been a New Japan Rumble, so we could see Captain New Japan, so we could yeah. see uh, you know Fujiwara himself, so we could see, uh, see you know, cheeseburger, some legends. Cheeseburger. cheeseburger. <laughs> Jushin <laughs> Liger not on the card. It's like the first time in 30 years. Really? Well, He's it is an there. hour-long pre-show. I mean, I, I, I'm I, telling you, he has to be there. He's always the first match of every show. So I'm expecting to be like Tiger Mask versus Jushin Thunder Liger versus... Uh, who else is usually in the first match? <sighs> no Tiger Mask is also a bummer. I don't know. I'm picking. I'm picking not the elite, but that's yeah. gonna be something most people are doing because while the, this whole night is all about New Japan and re, it's it's January fourth, it's the Tokyo Dome, it's Wrestle Kingdom, and it's a celebration of everything pro wrestling. There is a specter looming over this entire night, including the pre-show match, and that's the fact that all the elite are going to all elite wrestling. So who knows what's up, what's gonna be next for the Hangman or Marty Skrull. Or the other elites we see throughout the evening. Yuji or Takahashi, though, I'm pretty sure we're going to see him big pimping in New Japan for a I, long time. I don't know that he might be the sleeper pick that they take from New Japan. You know, you know WWE when they took over, they had X Pac. So maybe we could see Yujiro be the X Pac of AEW. You never know. <laughs> you never ever you know. You never know. I'm, the, I'm going with. I'm going to go with Suzuki, Lance Archer, and Davey Boy to win yeah. this, by the way. Suzuki Goon, uh, lots of water to be spilled on some fans nearby, and maybe Minoru Suzuki. Ah, I don't know. They, they might not even tough. win, but at the end, Minoru Suzuki is going to kick the shit out of someone, probably a young <laughs> how, boy. How many children do you think Lance Archer will be scaring during this match? <laughs> yeah, he's going to scare. He's going to spare some small children. Minoru Suzuki might beat up a small child. This is this is why parents go, going to the Tokyo Dome bring your kids to the show right when the main <laughs> card starts. Stay away from this one. Yeah, I'm just glad that this is in New Japan and not LA because all the water being spilt would just like aggravate me. Yeah, it's a, there's a drought going on. That's why there's a drought, bro. Yeah. Well, let's take it uh, to the main card then, Doctor. All right. So the next match, if I'm hopefully this is the order it's supposed to be in, is uh, Kota Ibushi, which I know a lot of people are waiting to see versus Will Ospreay for the Never Open Weight Championship. Oh my is, God! Can you believe this is the first match? How many flips is, are going to happen in this match? Ooh, that's that's. I think we need to first place an over under for all of our gamblers yeah, out there. And, and our over-under on the amount of total flips in this one, we're going to put it 69. Jeez. So, uh, that might still be a little too low. We'll actually, we'll do 69 and a half. So, All right, perfect. Over-under 69 and a half. Full revolutions in this match between the two of them. <laughs> I would just say over 69 and one half. I mean, I know that's a good number to stop up on, but I think it's going to go over that. 
I don't know. I don't know about this match because Will Ospreay's getting to that point where Abushi was a couple years ago, right? He ha- was out busting yeah. his ass, flipping everywhere, having all the best matches, and then he had to take a year and some and some time off, right? I think Will Ospreay might be getting to that part. He's been injured a lot, but now he's kind of yeah. stepping up into the into the never into the never open weight area, which is not quite a heavyweight yet, but not a junior anymore it's and he's taken on a true main eventer in Kota Ibushi the champion this is going to be a big big moment for Will Ospreay I hope he's healthy enough to deliver I think he will but I don't think he'll win I got Kota Ibushi yeah this is going to be tough because every time I usually see the never open weight championship it's always hard fought strong style wrestling uh I haven't seen how Kota Ibushi has been as the champion but I'm gonna have to go with Ibushi as well I think uh, Osprey will put on a hell of a match, but I think he's going to come up short. Not enough yeah. flips this time. Yeah, Abushi with this championship, you know, he's been... Has, I don't even remember him defending it, quite quite honestly. Mm-hmm. Maybe a few times. But it, he's he's about to put it back on the map. This is going to be... A, uh, whoever wins this is going to get a good challenge. Uh, and whoever loses this, hopefully they look good enough to, to stay, you know, relevant. I think Abushi could take the loss better. But I just don't see Will Ospreay winning this big one. I don't know. It's going to be a big, what a what a moment for that young man. Good luck to Will Ospreay and all of England who are going to be biting their nails. Tweet it, read it, tie it, shout it. Be all about it, British Brainiacs. Show your love for Will Ospreay. Prove, I hope I'm proved wrong. I'm rooting <laughs> for Will Ospreay to win this. I always love when a great junior goes up to heavyweight or open weight, if you will. This is the never open weight championship. Well, it's the step before heavyweight, right? It's, I guess, I don't know. Some guys just stay never open weight forever like Ishii. Yeah. So yeah, you never could... know. Uh, what do you think? This is going to be the match of the night or no? No, 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 no. Okay. You, you, do know, you, do know, you do know what the main event is. Oh, yeah, of course. I'm, <laughs> yeah. Just, saying, I'm, I'm just saying, you know, it's, it's, uh, this is how Wrestle Kingdom is going to be. It's going to be, is this match going to be the match of the night? Or is this match going to be the match of the night? That's how good this card is. This match would be the match of the night on any other card. I'll say that for sure. Okay. It I will agree. be it will be five stars. But it's the Tokyo Dome where you, there there's been there could be up to seven stars possibly. It, you it, think uh Dave Meltzer's gonna just be watching this pay per view with his pants off the whole time? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it'll just be like, like oh, yeah. Yeah, he'll be he'll Story be telling. He'll be watching this Randy Marsh style for sure. Just just sitting <laughs> just, at the computer, <laughs> tissues everywhere. As we all will be. Any Anybody who loves pro wrestling is going to be watching Wrestle Kingdom 13, and they're going to have a box of tissues nearby, and their and their favorite lubricant. S- uh, sipping beer, one hand down the chones, just like yes, I love storytelling. I love it. All right, uh, the next, just say shady ass fucking wrestling terms the whole time. Fuck them. All right. <laughs> The, the next match we have is a three-way tag team match for the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Championship. Holy shit, am I going to run out of breath every time I have to name these titles? Wait, say that title again one more time. I didn't hear you. <laughs> three-way tag team match for the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Championship. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it's so, a three-way. I'm ready. The three-way. It's going to be Suzuki Gun which is Kanemaru and El Desperado versus <laughs> 3K Show and Yo versus yeah. L.I.J. Bushi and Shingo Tagagi. Is he the one that replaced uh, the Ticking Time Bomb for now? Yeah, well, I kind of, yeah. He was the newest member of L.I.J. that debuted a few months ago, and he's super jacked, and, and I can't, I'm kind of shocked that he's a junior because he's, He's yoked Shingo Takagi, and he's a badass mother. He's a so. 275-pound junior heavyweight champion. <laughs> yes, that's why I'm picking LIJ to win, because they somehow <laughs> were able to fool people to think Shingo Takagi is is a junior heavyweight. Just fucking uh, curling a bus in the back, just like, yeah, I'm ready for the junior heavyweight title. I'm ready. I mean, he's. I'm pretty sure he's a, a workout partner with, with Braun Strowman. I'm pretty sure I've seen him clanging and banging with some of the biggest strong men in the world. Clanging and banging, just bison in the background. Or just like, oh, yeah. So I Shingo Tagagi and Bushi have a very uh, distinct advantage yeah. in this. Although Sho and Yo, they don't lose a lot. So it's tough to pick against Rapongi 3K, 3K. I mean, I would choose Rapongi 3K, but I just, I don't like the theme song as much as the original Rapongi. So I'm going to have to go with you. I mean, I haven't seen this uh, 
375 pound Takagi, but I mean, you're selling them to me, so I'm gonna have to go with Lig wait, with the wait, with the victory. Rapong- wait, Rapongi 3K. You don't like that song? Not as good as the the regular Rapongi. Was it Rapongi 1K? I guess Rapongi Rup- Vice. Yeah, yeah Rapongi Vice. Yeah, but still, Rapongi. It's like it's like saying, oh, I like. Like that's not my favorite Pitbull song. They're all great. They're all pit, they're all Rocky Romero songs, so they're all good. Yeah, I know. I don't but, I mean, you know me. I got. I put everything into consideration. I put entrance. I put attire. You know, and then wrestling is thrown in there somewhere. I don't. You know. I love Rapongi three K three K. I'm switching oh, my. Oh no! Don't tell my, me they're good. I'm I'm switching my pick because you don't like their theme song, and when they win, I'm going to be singing it all day. I'm going to call you on the phone at at. <laughs> At 1 a.m. when in the West Coast at, during that match, and I'm gonna sing it. Good. I, how m- I hope you do, but I think how many, is gonna how many Japanese Grammys did Rocky Romero win for that song? I don't know. Does does Japan even have a Grammys? They should. I think they do. All right. Well, they Pretty have. Sure. They have an, a, I think they have an Academy Award one, so maybe they do have. I don't know. The well, only award I can remember is the Crying Tiger, but that was from Tropic Thunder. I don't think that's real. Well, this so. is this is very real because it's it's going to be the first time ever that the British Heavyweight Championship is defended at really? Wrestle Kingdom, isn't it? Yeah, that's the ever, first time ever the RPW British Heavyweight title is being defended and it's that it's just the 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 little the little pit bull of a man, the little guy Jeez. who never has a bad match against the technical spectacle uh, from from Great Britain, what what are your thoughts on this match you're about to announce Jesus. here to the world? I'm Dr. definitely going to be it's definitely going to be brutal because every time issues in a match, it's you're going to expect to see hard chops, hard clotheslines, hard punches, and elbows. And oh man, Zach Zaber, how what is Zach Zaber Jr. like? 110 pounds? Yeah, but he's really tall and wiry. Yeah, and he, actually, though. actually, you you know he might give. Oh, you know what's crazy is that God and Zack Sabre Jr. are fighting back-to-back, so you, th- that's two matches with lots of cussing back-to-back. Because <laughs> Zack Sabre Jr. alone might give those guys a run for their money because he fucking cusses a whole fucking hell yeah, of a lot. Yeah, but he's going to be using, like, he's gonna be using like those British like words like, hey, wanker, hey, uh, <laughs> cunt, hey, uh, <laughs> fish and chips, fucking fish and chips, eh? Uh? Fucking, I don't know, whatever the fuck's... <laughs> Whatever the fuck those Englishmen uh, cuss words are that, you know, I don't know. It's going to call him a poof. I don't, I don't, <laughs> not, I don't know how much cussing he can do, but I don't know. Poof. This is going to be tough. Wait, is Ishii Poof the might be the, the most offensive one you've said. Uh, Ishii is the champion. He's the RPW oh, British Heavyweight Championship. Oh, he's definitely not giving that shit back. Well, this. Good luck with that one. Well, you don't. Yeah, I don't think he's going to. The thing is, Zack Sabre Jr. is all about. Like, you know, uh, joint uh, yeah, manipulation. Well, he's, lanky, he's lanky as fuck. He has those long arms, but the long legs. How is he going to manipulate the joints of Ishii, who is like, he's got oh, like he's... tiny T-Rex arms and, T- and and tiny legs. And like, there's no, he doesn't bend because he, he barely has <laughs> limbs. He's, he's like, a he's, little, he's like, it's like trying to put a corgi in an arm bar. You can't, like, he's got those little, little paws. He's like the the WWF action figures, where the knees don't bend or the elbows don't bend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just he's it just goes old, up and down. The human and down. Ha- he's a human Hasbro figure, Tomohiro Ishii versus Zack Saber Jr. I'm picking Ishii Brain Buster to beat hey, ZSJ. I, I, I don't know why, but every time I look at Ishii, I bet you all the cholas are jealous of his eyebrows. Holy fuck. <laughs> Have you seen like his face? He always looks like he's so fucking glammed up, dude. Jesus. I wait, I, Ishi. I went to hey, salon dude. earlier. I swear, dude, I was out I was out yesterday in Los Angeles. And I just heard some girl just say, Hey fool, I wish my eyebrows looked like Ishi fool. He's like, oh shit. I dude, I could have swore I passed the salon. And you know how they have pictures of eyebrows? Fucking the Ishi's number seven, dog. Ishii's right there. Hey, let me get the Ishii, okay? But just a little thinner, all right, fucker? Yeah, you're right. You go. You know how you when you go to the Chonga hair salon, you see <laughs> the, the Chonga. They all have the pictures of the different styles that they want, and they go, "I number number veinte yeah. yeah. You're right. That one. Ishii's Ishii the number is, seven. Huh? Yeah, he's siete. 
Is she? Yeah, he's got some, some of the prettiest eyebrows in pro wrestling. Well, he, do watch, watch, watch his entrance today, and you're about to be mesmerized. You're welcome, everybody that's listening to this. Just watch that fall. You can. You guys are gonna be getting the Ishi next week. Watch. Also, hard hitting pro wrestling in that match too. Oh my too. god, Jesus! Someone's also, gonna die. Also, a whole fucking lot of cockney <laughs> cussing. Oh, hey, fuck it. I don't know. Do you know any British cuss words besides poof and wanker and cunt? Uh, bollocks? Bo- fucking bollocks? I don't know. That one doesn't sound as hard. Yeah, you're right. You know what? It it sounds hard. It sounds hard when the G-O-D cuss. They're, they're the best at doing it. Oh, yeah. I just can't wait for that match where it's Sabre Jr. versus Tomatonga and a cuss off. <laughs> Maybe next year. Everybody expects ZSJ to win that match. I'm I'm picking against him, but if he wins yeah. that, he could maybe be in line for a big cuss match versus Tomatonga, <laughs> who's in our next match, isn't he? Yeah, we got uh the Gorillas of Destiny. This is another three there's a lot of three ways going on. I don't know if Japanese just have a fetish of three ways or something, but a three way tag match for the IWGP tag team championship. We have the champions, which is God versus Lij versus the Young Bucks, and this is this is going to be a very interesting match. I don't give a fuck about winning. It's, well, he better give a fuck about winning today. It's for it's for the tag team titles. This is it. This is this is the moment. This is the first uh, really I'm going to say high stakes match on the card. Of course, we have other title matches, and the Never Open Weight Championships big, but. We're not only talking about t- tag titles in this. We're talking about the future of the Young Bucks, Doctor. Uh, the- I know you're. Say- I know you're thinking it's also the future. But honestly, I think it's the future of Gorillas of Destiny and the Bullet Club. I think there's Fuck a lot, a lot them. on the line. Fuck them. The Young Bucks, if they're gonna leave or if they're gonna come back. But if God can't win, like where does that put Bullet Club? Exactly. It, it, they're claiming that BCOG and, and Bullet Club is still alive, but with the elite going off and doing their own thing, yeah. every every other moment where the, the Bullet Club has evolved has involved them you know, getting a brand new big time leader put in place. Yeah. Is, and they're trying to say Jay White's that guy? Is that what they're trying to tell us? Ha! I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Tama. But maybe if you win this match... If if Jay White wins his match, maybe yeah. you might be able to prove us all wrong. But everybody, I think, is ready to bury Bullet Club once and for all. At least how we've known it. Uh, that's what 2019 is. Also, not only don't everybody's talking about all elite wrestling, but what happens to the Bullet Club next? You're right, yeah. Doctor. Will the Bullet Club end? Is it going to go by by the way of the NWO and just fade away into becoming a cool old school T-shirt you once owned? Like uh, uh, this could be the what are you trying to say they're gonna be like the NWO red and black, where it's just like yeah they had they had a cool theme song but I think that's all they had going for them. I mean, this is a way to set. Everybody says that the Bullet Club is uh, the Young Bucks, it's Kenny Omega, it's Hangman, and it's Cody Rhodes, and it's uh, was it the, the villain? And they kind of they kind of just forgotten about the originals, Tamatanga, Bad Luck, Fale. I mean, if they win this match, this is the right direction to keep the Bullet Club alive. Because all I'm hearing right now is the Bullet Club is dead, and this this can be if they don't. I don't think if they don't win tonight, I don't think we'll be seeing a lot of Bullet Club. So you're saying so you're saying that Tama Tonga and Tonga Loa, the Gorillas of Destiny, the BCOGs, these motherfuckers yeah. who are going to be cussing up a storm, are fighting for more than just IWGP Tag Team Gold. They're fighting I for mean, the very essence of what the bullet club is i mean i don't know maybe it's just me and conspiracy theories but if god can win retain the titles if jay white can win against okada i mean you're gonna have to start taking jay white pretty serious as a bullet club leader well gorillas of destiny have made it to world tag league final three years in a row came up short this year they're facing the guys that beat them Sonata and Evil and those young bucks who we all know are all elite and all mm-hmm. elite wrestling is going to be happening in 2019. Does that mean that the bucks are totally done with New Japan? What do you think is going to happen with the bucks, all elite wrestling and New Japan wrestling? Do you think this is the last time we see the bucks in Japan in 2019? Honestly, I I don't know. I could see the young bucks winning the the IWGP t- tag titles taking them to AEW 
maybe they have some sort of relationship. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're going to eventually need some new Japan guys, but honestly, I don't I don't even know. I don't even know what's going on. I don't I don't know what's going to happen with the Young Bucks. Everything's a mystery in 2019 for me. I mean, not only for all elite wrestling, but for New Japan. I'm going to go out on that limb, though, Doctor. I know you're. I know that you're a doctor, and you you always love to have yeah. evidence, and and you're very yeah. by the book. But I'm going to go out there, and I'm just going to say it. And I, if I'm wrong, then all the brainiacs can make fun of me. But I really do believe we will see the Young Bucks back in in Japan in 2019, and I really do believe that New Japan and AEW All Elite Wrestling will have a relationship because New mm-hmm. Japan, their new guy in charge, Harold Mage, that or May, however you say him, the Dutchman, his he knows that to stay relevant in the United States in wrestling, to be as cool as you want as you possibly can be, you need to be affiliated with the Elite. And yeah. in 2019, they're going to maintain a relationship, I think, similar to how they've had with Ring of Honor. Maybe not as intense with the talent exchanges, but I definitely think that there will be something there. That's why I'm not afraid to pick the Young Bucks to win this tag team title match. That's right. It'll be the shocker of the night, Dr. Calsonis. I mean, I don't disagree. What was it when they had the... Winning. What were the territories where they had to reunite to make that one alliance to go against WWF when they started exploding? I mean, that might just be AEW, and this may be a way to to get them together if the Young Bucks can win the titles. But I think there's just so much on the line. I think G.O.D. has so much in their plate. And I think the Young Bucks have so much in their plate that I think L.I.J. is going to just sweep under there and win the tag titles. You think so? You got L.I.J. coming out of nowhere. The only guys with no real baggage in this. L.I.J. is just cruising. They're being their cool selves. They're tranquilo. You've got G.O.D. worried about the future of Bullet Club. You've got the Young Bucks worried about All Elite Wrestling. And then you've got sonata and evil in there and they're just like chill man we're ready for a big tag team match. yeah they're playing with they're playing with casino money right now yeah they're, 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 I, think they're, I think they're gonna cash out so you, you think in this match everything will be evil it's everything's gonna be evil there's a lot of things that, it's evil i know i know i know i know evil and he has he he, he has a lot of things that are evil this it's evil I'm gonna run it. I'm gonna run down some of the stuff for you, Long Allen. Oh. Are you ready for uh, Evil's list? Oh, what do you mean, like well, his list for what for Wrestle Kingdom 13? Well, yeah, because we all know Jericho has uh, the list of Jericho, but have you heard of the list of Evil? I haven't. All right. Well, I'm just gonna run down some of the stuff I, that Evil thinks is evil. Ready? Yeah. All right. Pikachu is evil. Yoshinoya is evil. BTS is evil. Vitamin C is evil. Lens cleaner is evil. Ariana Grande is evil. Bubblegum is evil. And the last thing he has on his list is evil is evil. It's yeah, a whole so. hell of a lot of evil. God damn. I know. There's a lot more, but I don't think I, – I, I mean, this. we're not trying to make this podcast as long as Wrestle Kingdom. So I just <laughs> gave you, like, the top, the top like, ten or whatever I gave out, the top five. That's, so that's a lot of evil for evil – in evil's corner. It's, it, they're the betting favorites, obviously. I think LIJ won the World Tag League, and everybody knows that they've got the momentum. They don't have the issues the other two teams do. Is, is, is cussing evil? Is that on the list? Uh uh, let me think. It's evil. There you go. Everything is evil. Aqu- he has Aquafina in here. I guess he's not a big fan of the water. No, you, do you think he meant the the, the chick, the actress? <laughs> crazy. Yes. It's evil. You think he meant her, the crazy rich Asians girl? She's funny. Evil. Uh, uh, it could be either one. We can. Uh, I got to see if there's a W when he spelled Aquafina. Okay, let's settle it right now. Brainiacs, a lot of you have been discussing and saying, well, the, the Brainiacs who don't watch uh, Wrestle Kingdom 13 live, they're they're not you know on our level. They're evil wrestling fans, and we're the real wrestling fans. Do- Dr. Kelsonis, can you settle it on evil's list? Are people who don't watch live Wrestle Kingdom 13, if they don't watch live, are they evil? All right, hold on. Let me look at this. I'm going to see sunglasses in the club. Evil. Um... 
Let me see what we have here. For some reason, he has liquor. I don't know. Evil. That's, or maybe that's licorice. Uh, yes, he has it right here. He has it under evil. People who evil. don't watch it So if you're not watching live, Wrestle Kingdom 13, Brainiacs, that makes you, uh, I guess, you're on, you're on evil's list. Evil. That's... It's okay. I, you know me. I say as long as you watch. If it takes you a week, like Triple J, that's fine. Uh, but I'm, you know, I'll be watching Doctor Calzone. It's two a.m. Eastern. Jeez. That's eleven p.m. Pacific in the United States. That is that's the Tokyo time. Dome Wrestle Kingdom thirteen. Actually, I'm gonna be. Uh, I'm gonna make sure I'm there at midnight. Just with the with New Japan World on, just in case we get that uh, like an impromptu or like a, a a sneak Easter egg, New Japan Rumble. Like they don't even announce it, they don't even schedule it. It just appears if you have the New Japan World. Maybe the, you never know; they might do that. I'm how much fingers coffee? Crossed. You, how much coffee or cocaine will you be uh, consuming? Oh, all, all, all of it, as much as I could get my hands on, uh, because. Well, actually, no, you know, I might sleep and then wake up and watch yeah. it. Maybe I'll just that do that. Sense. Evil. All right, let's get to our next match. Big tag match there. Uh, that's a, I mean, there's a lot on the line there, and here we go. Like I said, All Elite Spectre looming large, another one of the executive vice presidents of e- AEW in a match. You've got Cody, the champion of the United States of America, according to the IWGP, and he'll be defending against former champ Juice Robinson, Dr. Uh, yeah, this is going to be a pretty good one. Juice Robinson has come a long way since NXT try, trying to save the planet. Now, I guess that's passed on to Daniel Bryan, who's trying to save the planet. But uh, yeah, he's come a long way. I'm going to have to... This is going to be a very interesting match. I'm I'm excited to see what Cody Rhodes dresses up as when he comes down the ring. What do you mean? Oh, you think he's going to dress like, like some kind of... Uh famous character from a show we know like gi joe or something i think the last time i saw him he was dressed as solid snake which was uh very nice to see um i don't know i mean it is wrestle kingdom 13 where people do usually go a little extra on their entrances i i think okada once fought a dinosaur which is i don't know how they were able to get a dinosaur during that time um but yeah this is gonna be a pretty good match i'm actually excited uh again we don't know what's gonna happen if Cody Rhodes was Cody Rhodes going to take the belt to AEW, or will he lose? And this might be the last time we ever see him in New Japan. So I've already made it clear that I'm not picking against the All Elite guys just because I think you know they're starting their new thing in 2019, and I'm not going to. I'm not. I'm, I'm, that's scaring me away from picking them. I already picked the Young Bucks, but I'm picking against Cody because I mean Juice Robinson. He's the original Save the Planet wrestler. You brought it up. He's 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 a a pop icon. He's a teen idol. He is who all the girls in Japan are going to be screaming over. Cheers! <laughs> he is he's a sexy man, and I think yeah. he's a great U.S. champion. And I'm picking Joliet Juice to win it. Uh, I'm gonna have to go with you as well. Even though I'm a big fan of Cody, I think it's Juice's time, and this is a big way to kind of like break out. You know, I'm the U.S. champion at Wrestle Kingdom. Beating one of the best wrestlers in the world. Uh, I'm going to go with Juice Robinson as well. The only way I see Cody winning is if he comes out l- dressed like like his dog, Pharaoh. And he comes out with Pharaoh. If he wears like a big... Or if he comes out looking like a big, I don't know, like a big Viking kind of thing with a big dog on a leash and him and Pharaoh go to the ring, that'd be a great Wrestle Kingdom entrance. I'm just really hoping Pharaoh's at Wrestle Kingdom. That's basically what I'm I don't know. That's a, that's a pretty long uh, airplane ride for a dog to be under underneath a plane though a lot of people think pharaoh stole the show at all in because for a dog to be able to walk down the aisle and not bite anybody it's pretty impressive yeah. well he's he's a trained dog i mean there's a reason why they call him pharaoh um i i don't know i'm just excited to see what cody rhodes i mean hey cody rhodes might come out and his cosplay outfit might be the shit and i might have to just change my pick right away so Do, i I've, i'm also going to make another prediction i predict that because he's such a sexy man, uh, Brandy Rhodes will not be able to help herself, and she's gonna she's gonna inappropriately touch Juice Robinson. Do you think she's gonna be one of the people yelling Juice? Juice! Like, Juice! <laughs> Cody Juice! looks over at her and she hides. Yeah, she yeah. might do that. I, Cody better not actually for 
not bring Pharaoh out, Pharaoh might also want to be a part of... Everybody wants to be with Juice. <laughs> Just wants to be petted by Juice the whole time. He's Joliet Juice. He's the man. He's so cool. He's yeah. like the biggest star in Japan right now. He, he might... He might have the loudest pop of the night. It's could, If you want a good bet that nobody's making, that you can win a lot of money on and surprise people, loudest pop of the night in the Dome because of how high-pitched that's going to be, Juice Robinson yeah. is a good bet. It's going to be like going to a concert and watching the Beatles back in the day while the yes. girls are just crying and screaming. Just like, ah, Juice! Juice. Exactly. Just like wanting to feel his aroma. It's just gonna, so many people are going to be passed out. It's a, big, it's not, a big arena. It uh, is. I don't think there's enough. I don't think there's enough paramedics out there to help out. Yeah, and Cody's also don't forget he was dealing with some injuries not too long ago. He probably still nagging him, and also he's probably had late night board meetings with all elite wrestling. I just think he's distracted and does hurt. He, Great night when for you Chiefs. Say, when you say injured, do you mean does he have another black eye? <laughs> he always has a black eye. Yeah, he always has a black eye. I don't get it. Like it's like in its exact same eye, and it's every single time. Also, his mouth's got to hurt from having it sewed to someone's butthole <laughs> on the Halloween episode of Being yeah. the Elite. So, uh, Juice Robinson awesome. probably will have his lips on a butthole uh, the night of Wrestle Kingdom, but that'll be voluntary and, and probably in Rapunzel. If he wins, he's gonna ha- yeah. If he wins, he's gonna have a lot of uh, mouth to butt experiences. Oh with man, could you imagine? Do you think? Could you imagine what a night out with Juice Robinson? <laughs> And Takahashi would be like, "It's uh, I don't I don't think I'll be able to survive that night. I'm definitely you're definitely going to see some missing posters of me the next day. I'll be touching myself during that match. Let's go to the next one. <laughs> Kushida, the champion, defending the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship against the new Bone Soldier Taji Ishimori. Um." Again, I haven't seen too much of this Ishimori guy, but you know, fuck he looks winning. super fucking jacked. And he, he is. can fucking move. And he can fucking move. I don't I don't understand. He looks like a, a like a steroided out Davy Boy uh not Davy Boy, uh Dynamite Kid when Dynamite Kid was on steroids. Yeah. Like his he, body is like that, but he moves like He's got like, absurd like, abs, Taji Ishimori yeah. and Kushida. You know the rumor about Kushida, Doctor? What's the rumor, Doc? There's rumors that he might go back to the future and all the way to the WWE. Really? There's rumors. Rumors are out there. Uh, Uncle I, Dave I, rumors. Uh, I thought, honestly, when you first said it, I thought you actually th- I thought he actually had a DeLorean and had the technology to go back in time. But I mean, this is as interesting, I guess. But really, uh, what would he be on? Just just NXT or two hundred five? Or is it Fuck just? Him! Well, I don't know. Rumor is he's on his way over there. Yeah, well, it's not. It's nothing's official that I've heard, at least from rag sheets. But people think Kushida yeah. in 2019 could be WWE bound. Wow. A lot. I think a lot of the baseless speculation on that is because he's conquered New Japan, at least as far as he he possibly as much as oh, he yeah. possibly could do. He's won that championship. He's won that tag title. He's won all the big tournaments for a junior. What else is left? Well, do you think- I don't. Why? Why not just stay there and, and be like Jushin Thunder Liger and and well, maybe be the man he does and it. maybe take and he could maybe have eh, maybe he will have like a little trip out out to the Americas for a, a run in uh in Ring of Honor or WWE. I'm hoping Kushida goes all elite. That's what I'm hoping for. But Kushida on 205 Live, I don't know. I don't know. How, wow. I love 205 Live, but I don't. I don't think that's the place for him. Yeah, I don't think so either. I mean, if he's gonna go to WWE, just let him be on the roster. Let him. You know, go after that NXT title. He's freaking good. I mean, the only thing I can think of is if he's leaving New Japan is because, I mean, you're right. You said it. He's done it all with the junior heavyweight division. I mean, do you see them ever moving him up anywhere? Possibly never open weight Kushida versus yeah. is that the farthest uh, go? or something. Yeah, exactly. So look out for very interesting guy to watch in 2019 because he's yeah. got all the talent. Super fun to watch in the ring. Super charismatic. Great bubble vest. Uh, with that said, I'm picking Taji Ishimori's abs to win this match. Uh, yeah, I'm going with the same pick. I mean, that guy just looks like a freak athlete. So I'm going with Ishimori. And <sighs> yeah, I don't. Some guys just like their their t- their tights look tighter on them. And Taji Ishimori's one of them. It looks like everything. His ring gear is not l- going to be able to stay on him very long. 
so Every muscular, looks just tight might on burst. Yeah, it's. I Even his muscles look too tight. On. Everything looks too tight on him. It just looks like he's just wearing <laughs> one of those muscle suits. Like he's just wearing one of those Hellboy outfits, and he's just walking around like. Ugh. Just like everything, like- it, everything is evil for evil. Everything is tight for Taji Ishimori. <laughs> it's just a, it's just a small Asian man in a bodysuit. I think that's what it is. <laughs> All right, you want to you want to set up our next match, the only non championship match on the main card. Yeah, and it's this is a hell of a match. Which is, wait, I, I know I, I have been behind on the Rainmaker, but is he still doing the balloon stuff? I mean, I I don't think we're gonna see balloons or red hair in this one. He's all business now. He he was in his don't, I don't give a fuck phase when he was doing that, and that's kind of what lost him ghetto. Yeah. All right. Well, we got Kazuchika Okada. Is he still the Rainmaker? Rainmaker! Versus, uh, hopefully, the Knife Pervert, hopefully, future Bullet Club leader, Jay White, in a singles match where there's uh, there's bad blood now. Now that what happened in the last couple of shows with uh, with Okada's manager. Okada and Ghetto. New Japan put out oh, a yeah? really excellent YouTube video, The History of Okada and Ghetto. Highly recommend watching the New Japan YouTube videos to supplement this episode of BBR and get you ready, Brainiacs, for Wrestle Kingdom. Okada and Ghetto, six years running together. They Man. were gonna they amic- amicably broke up and said, All right, I don't I don't need him anymore and I'm just gonna yeah. go off and do my own thing. And Ghetto was like, Yes, yes, this is it's what he needs and uh, all the best. But then he turned on him and now he's with Jay White. He's, I think he's into knife. He he's into knives as well now. They're both going out to Rapongi, doing knife pervert things. You know, playing that game it, where you, would you, where you put your fingers straight and just putting the knife through the holes, inappropriately to- touching dates with knives, and uh, just really weird stuff. And now also Bullet Club involved. So much on the line here. Okada's pride. Is Okada going to be a main eventer in 2019? Everybody expects him to, but if he loses to Jay White, I mean, that's a huge hit for him, and that is the biggest win of Jay White's career, who had a big chance last year at Wrestle Kingdom, but came up short, Doctor. Uh, now, do you do you blame Okada for for what happened with him in Ghetto or Jetto? It is Okada's fault. Ghetto want, is, wants to be with a winner. And Okada stopped winning. Ghetto got tired of it. And he's leeching on to Jay White, who's the big young up-and-comer, Rudo, that everybody thinks is going to be the guy in New Japan for the foreseeable future. Yeah, I don't know. It's a smart business to- move by, yeah, by of Ghetto. Course. Of course it is. You always go with the next top town. He saw something in Okada, and that worked out for six years. Now he sees something in Jay White. That could work out for Yeah, it's like years. that meme. It's like that meme with the guy holding his girlfriend's hand looking yeah. back at the other girl's butt. It's exactly what happened here. Yeah, just, I don't know. What has happened? I've, I've never seen, not even when John Cena had his worst year. What was it, a year ago or two years ago when John Cena had his worst year? And Okada loses the title, and then I don't even recognize the Rainmaker anymore. He's wearing. He has red hair. He's wearing pants. Um, I don't. I don't know what's going on with Okada. I mean, I'm hopefully after. I heard. I heard he was. I heard he was buying milk with a check the other day at the grocery store. Is really sad. Well, as long as this picture wasn't on the cash on the register, where it says "Don't accept checks from this man." (laughs) You know, just Okada right there holding his balloons. Do you think (laughs) Okada's so (laughs) broke? He's. Okada, I think he's going to show us he's still the Rainmaker. I'm picking him to beat Jay White I don't know. And, and and put himself back in the main event picture. It looks, I, I think Okada might be in the drop. He's the drop maker right now. I don't see anything, any any rain coming. I'm going to have to go with Jay White. I mean, he has he has his former manager on his side now. Don't you think he's going to be throwing him like, all right, Okada, you, you got to do a Russian leg sweep. He can't counter that. Yeah, well, every, everybody's picking like you, Doctor. I think all the money's on Jay White, and everybody says because he has his manager, but also w- what's left of chaos, everyone thinks there's a mole in chaos. Do you think yeah. there's a mole in chaos that's going to turn on Okada? If so, who? What is? What if Okada's the mole? He's going to yeah. job himself out? How would yeah. that work? Or maybe he'll take out Jay White, and then Okada's the leader of the Bullet Club. There you go. It'll be something interesting to see. I don't know. Again, I don't. I don't know what to expect from Okada. I don't know what's going on with him. He has the goofy red hair. He has the goofy balloons. 
I mean, <sighs> I really hope he just comes out full of clown makeup like Pennywise, just dancing his way, chucking and jiving, just like <laughs> just putting on a show. I mean, don't you know what? I'm gonna go with you. You know what? I should never give up on the Rainmaker. Rainmaker. You're right. You made, me, you made me change from my. Well, I mean, he won't be having anyone announce him like that anymore. But I'm. Go, you know what? I'm switching. I'm going with Okada. This is a chance to come back. It's 2019. It's a fresh year. Let's get rid of all that shit. And let's get back into that main event stage. Fuck him! I like it. Big night yeah. for Okada. In the grudge match of the evening. I hope the Amol doesn't screw him over. A lot of people think that might happen. Fingers well, who, crossed. We're going to find out who the mole is. Hopefully tonight or tomorrow. And I like your idea of Okada. <laughs> they turn on, double swerve, turn on <laughs> yeah. Jay White. Okada's the new leader. No, the Bullet Club, and he just dye, dyes his hair black and silver. Highly doubt that, though. I know. He'll be back, though. I th- you're right. You changed my mind. It's 2019's Okada's year. Well, 2018, I would get, I would tell you the best year in New Japan. A lot of people would want to say Kenny Omega or Tanahashi, but it's got to be Chris Jericho. Held the Intercontinental Championship for most of the year without really even be, being in Japan ever. <laughs> he defended it once. Every title, motherfucker, just like in the background in a fucking. And it's Jericho a new Chris cruise. Jericho. It's just another year of being the greatest of all time. And the build to this is my favorite build for any match because the promos have been hot fire from both guys. Naito Jericho, IWGP Intercontinental Title, Dr. Kalsonis. Uh, this right here is going to be one hell of a match. Chris Jericho is going to be taking cameras from the Japanese guys. He's going to be flipping people off. He's going to be spitting on people. He's going to be doing every single disgusting thing you can think of. And Chris Jericho, Chris Jericho is going to do it to Naito. Adios, Naito. This, yeah, I don't, I don't. I bet you they won't be in the ring until the last like five minutes of the match. The rest of the match, twenty minutes of the match is going to be outside the ring. Yes, we we had we, we put the prop bet earlier on the Osprey Ibushi match. Now prop bet on the Jericho Naito match. Uh, over under five minutes, they're actually in the ring. I'm gonna say. Oh man, I don't know. That's a tough one. I'm gonna say under five. I guess. I'm gonna say under five. I'll be that guy. You are. I'm gonna say. I, I think that I think they're gonna be in the ring because I think Naito's gonna get Jericho in there. To wanna, he's gonna, he's gonna lure Jericho in there, and and I think Jericho's gonna surprise Naito with how good he is still in the ring, even though in Japan the new Jericho is a brawler of the Bruzy Bruiser I Brody type. I, I think we're gonna see some great technical Chris Lionheart Chris Jericho. Really, in this. and and Naito's gonna be in for a surprise. Jericho said he is going to end and finish Naito's career. He said adios well, Naito, come by goodbye. Don't- only way to end the career is by smashing tables and chairs on his head. I know. Uh, I, I no. I, I think, think he's going to end gonna his career. The, I think I he's going to end his career with a lion tamer. I think he's going to oh, break his wow. back. Adios, Adios I, Naito. I will not doubt it. I mean, this match is going to be brutal, and not, I'm not talking about like physical. It's just going to be brutal. It's just going to be shit everywhere. People going through stuff. People getting hit by stuff. It's going to be all over the place. And this man, I'm really excited for this match. And it's it's for that Intercontinental title, which I think I, I think you could argue Jericho is right up there with with uh, Nakamura as the most exciting Intercontinental champion of all time. This is this this feels like the main event to a lot of people. If it weren't like we've been saying all night, if this was on any other card, it'd be the main event. Uh, we can pretty much say that about almost any match in this card. Um I think Chris Jericho said he's undefeated so far in New Japan. So, I mean, he has that going for himself. So, it's going to be a tough uh, match for Naito to win. Uh, undefeated against against uh, Nihon Jin, against oh, okay. J- Japanese in, in New Japan. He has not lost to a Japanese in New Japan. Oh, okay. There you go. Well, yeah, see? There you go. Perfect. Uh, I don't think it's going to start today, though. I think Chris Jericho is going to walk out IWGP Intercontinental Champion, and we won't see the title defended until Wrestle Kingdom 14. <laughs> Better makeup, Jericho or Evil? <laughs> uh, I don't. I'm, I don't know. One has a hoodie and the other one has a fedora. Everything. 
It's uh, evil. I'm just going to go with, I'm going to have to, go, no offense to Chris Jericho, I'm going with evil because evil does have that laser pen that could easily blind anyone. So uh, Naito called Jericho's makeup lame and called him lame <laughs> and the new Jericho lame. And he said that he's a superstar who's just trying to sell a, a, a big match, but uh, there's no way he's going to retire him and he's looking forward to the match. He's very tranquilo. Jericho said he's not tranquilo. He's fucking crazy. Do you, uh, do you agree with Naito? Crazy. Is uh, this new Jericho la- a lame dork? Uh, I'm pretty sure with this because he's the new, you know, Naito is the young, hip, uh, new wrestler. And I'm pretty sure when Chris Jericho was first starting out, I'm pretty sure he thought Hulk Hogan was super lame or uh, what other old wrestlers were around like. Well, he was. Uh, he would make fun of Dean Malenko for being real boring. Yeah, so you know, there's there's always the young guy who's so hungry who sees like the the older guys come back down, and they think they all think they're lame, even though they they're not. I guess I don't know if that makes any sense. So Jericho wins. What you, you have Jericho winning, right? So then, what's next for Naito? <sighs> I I don't know. Um, I, I want Jericho to, I mean I'm going with my heart on this one I think Naito's going to win but I I just want Jericho to win I want him to be the undertaker of New Japan, Adios, where, he at, where he only wrestles at Wrestle Kingdoms um, but if if Naito loses I think he him and the LIJ brand is so big I, I, I see him uh, fighting for that IWGP heavyweight championship or maybe Okada if Okada wins a match you know they'll have something going well, I think yeah, I, I I think Naito is going to win because it's it's Jericho said it. Hundreds of thousands of Naito fans, arguably the most popular superstar oh, in, in Japan. I mean, this is a, a whole revolution. Lij los ingobernables. Naito's going to have the crowd behind him, but if Jericho gets caught, loses that Intercontinental Title belt, don't be surprised to see him the very next night beating the living shit out of Okada who's going to be celebrating <laughs> at New Year's Dash. That's my prediction, Doctor. Yeah, again, if Chris Jericho with the title, Chris Jericho without the title, someone's getting the shit kicked out of them the next night. So, <laughs> I mean, it doesn't really matter. Just know that someone's getting the shit kicked out of them. <laughs> he's fucking crazy, this new he's Chris probably, Jericho. Hey, fool, you're fucking crazy, dog. I mean, that's that's what he is. He might, hey, it's, if Pharaoh comes down the ring with Cody, we might see fucking Chris Jericho fight Pharaoh. I mean, <laughs> I mean, you don't fucking know. Oh, well, this is going to be a violent, violent match, and it it's only could be topped by one other match, if you ask me, and oh, that is man. our main event, Dr. Calsonis. Oh, man. Our main event, which is the champion, Kenny Omega, versus the ace, Hiroshi Tanahashi. Man, I... I was ex- everybody was super excited for Kenny Omega Okada. This is probably the match I'm most excited for in any Wrestle Kingdom. Yes, this is the, this is it. This is the pinnacle. This is peak Wrestle Kingdom. You, you said it, Doctor Calsonis. This is what Wrestle Kingdom is Jeez. all about: the ace and the cleaner, the best bout machine. It, like, how do you? We, how do you top what you've already yeah. done? Well, you go and you have a match at Wrestle Kingdom with Tanahashi if you're Kenny Omega, and here's it's his chance. It's two two titans just going at it. I mean, if Kenny Omega says – he always talks about making change over there with the with, for the gaijin out there. If he can defeat the ace, Tanahashi. The old man behind Tanahashi. He's a piece of shit. Piece of shit. If he can beat Tanahashi at Wrestle Kingdom – 13. It's like beating Bruno San Martino at the Madison Square Garden. Unbelievable. Changing the world. Kenny Omega, ha- he's already done so much, but look at how much more he can do with a win like this if he Jeez. does it. The the ace, I think we all think the ace is back, right? What a year he had winning yeah. the G1, overcoming nagging injuries, learning how to deal with pain, changing his style up somewhat so he's able to compete still. And then you have Kenny Omega, who's reckless, and and Tanahashi saying, I don't like the way you wrestle. You are reckless. This is basically Top Gun at at (laughs) Wrestle Kingdom. I don't like you. You're dangerous. Tanahashi, go ace. It's so so hard to pick who you root for. 
as Gaijin, I think we lean Kenny Omega, right? Yeah, but of course. Of you course. you got to love the Japanese John Cena, or if you ask oh, me, Tanahashi is so good. If he wins, actually, if Tanahashi wins at Wrestle Kingdom 13, I'm going to start calling John Cena the American Tanahashi. That's what I'll do. <laughs> Oh, my God. I don't know. It's, it's just there's so much on the line. I don't. Again, Gaijin, we have to, you know, our our loyalty is supposed to go to Omega, but he is from Canada, so yeah, we're I mean, American. That kinda helps with, yeah, that kind of helps with the decision picking. But man, this I isn't just, about nations. Time, this isn't about nations. It's all about it's all about the IWGP Heavyweight Title and the main event of Wrestle I, Kingdom. Yeah, every time I every time I hear the name Hiroshi Tanahashi main event Wrestle Kingdom, I just has a smile on my face. The so old man it, behind Tanahashi, he's a piece of shit. Piece of shit. <laughs> it's just, I don't know, it's just so much hard if Tanahashi beats Kenny Omega. It's just be like a sunshine. It's just, it'll be so good to see Tanahashi after having such a bad year come all the way back here to Wrestle Kingdom where everybody thought his career was pretty much at its tail's end. and He was just going to be doing like, no offense to like Jushin Thunder Liger where he'll be doing opening matches to come into Wrestle Kingdom 13, beating Kenny Omega, who's had a hell of a year, and becoming, was it the, the eight-time IWGP Heavyweight Champion? 66th Champion versus Hiroshi Tanahashi, Omega Tanahashi. I don't know if there's enough stars in the sky, but if any two could beat what Okada and Omega did, it's Tanahashi and Omega. This is going to be phenomenal and the and the, also the good thing is i don't think we have to worry about any outside interference these are two guys who are mm -hmm. wanting to go in there and do it one-on-one -on -one. yeah it's it's gonna be a hell of a match this is definitely my main event even though every other match can pretty much be a main event but i just don't i just don't see anything topping this and I, i'm gonna call it right now uh, Moose the Mark will be back on the show because he's going to be so caught up in the buzz over the mat this match. He's going to actually sh make it to an episode of Brain Buster Radio, Doctor. And Moose the Mark will give it nine stars. Oh, my goodness, man. I just know that Dave Meltzer will be watching this without underwear on in the Me leather too. couch. It's going to be he's going to be in the leather couch, chapless with uh, the, the, the heat running at about 98 degrees. And of course, super hot and sticky. And of course, we, we've been at, we've been asking it uh, before. I get your official prediction of who wins oh, the the all the all elite uh, specter looming over this match. Now, Kenny Omega is not going to be at the January eighth All Elite Wrestling press conference. At least he's not announced. But we know he's he's part of the elite. He is elite. He's the elite of the elite. Kenny Omega's aff affiliation with All Elite Wrestling. How do you think that works out? Him being the IWGP champion leans me towards thinking they, there will be a, a relationship between the two organizations. What about you? Well, Kenny Omega has talked about doing big things in New Japan. And honestly, I, even though he is one of the elite wrestlers, I honestly do not see him leaving New Japan. But I definitely do see him uh, doing matches for AEW. But I don't see Kenny Omega leaving New Japan. Which doesn't not, not yet. Which doesn't affect me picking this match whatsoever yeah, is what I'm getting nope. at here. So yeah, Kenny Omega versus Hiroshi Tanahashi for the IWGP Heavyweight Championship at Wrestle Kingdom 13. Doctor Kalsonis, do the honors. Who is going to win this epic main event? This hard choice. I've been going back and forth. I've had the cleaner, then I had the ace. Then I, I had don't the even cleaner, know who to root for. And then I had the cleaner again, and then I had the ace. It's changed back and forth. I've even asked Alexa if she can tell me who to pick. And even Alexa said, I don't know. You're going to have to choose this. So I'm going to have to go with, with my heart. I'm going to have to go with Hiroshi Tanahashi to retain, or not retain, to win that IWGP Heavyweight Championship. Oh, man. The mountain climbed back up to, at the top Great once story. again. You it's got a wonderful happen. story. You can't be you can't beat either story. That that would be beautiful. That would be beautiful to see the confetti raining down, and, and maybe see Tanahashi get attacked with the the limbs of Pharaoh by Chris Jericho. That would be great. <laughs> maybe that happens, or maybe what I think is going to happen happens, and that is Kenny Omega vanquishes the Ace, and Kenny wow. Omega ushers in the real change. That, that he's been talking about. This would be the biggest change moment of all time, beating a legend like Tanahashi on yes. this stage. Kenny Omega cements himself as the best 
the best wrestler under God's hot sun, the most elite of the elite. I mean, to do it against Okada and Tanahashi at Wrestle Kingdom, if Omega does it, uh, I think this would be the biggest win anyone's ever had, maybe in all of pro wrestling, since Hulk Hogan beat Andre the Giant. It's that big of a moment for Kenny Omega, for him to really... I mean, we're talking about, like, LeBron beating the Warriors here, if you want to yeah. relate it to something else. We're talking about moments where you knew that guy became the best. Kenny Omega could do that against Tanahashi, and I think it's going to happen, and I think it's going to be the most elite elite wrestle kingdom of all time doctor yeah it's i mean I, that I or tanahashi that or tanahashi <laughs> wins and chris jericho comes out and makes him bleed <laughs> we all know wait what's the show after wrestle kingdom new year's dash yeah we all know just again like the raw after mania they always have the 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 new year dash of uh wrestle kingdom and that's where all the shit's gonna go down that's where we're gonna see where the company's going but I mean, everything you said is correct, man. If Kenny Omega wins, I think it's going to be one of the biggest uh, things in wrestling history, maybe in the last 10 years. Because it's, you know, it's, it's a lot on the line on this match. I, I won't be sad or I won't be sad either way. We'll I'll be, be really up. happy if Omega wins because I think that will definitely let us all know that All Elite Wrestling and New Japan will be working yeah. together. Yeah. Well, I mean, and if there- anybody... If anybody from All Elite wins, I'm pretty sure that tells you, right, that you're, they're going to stay. Or not stay, but at least have a working relationship. You're right. You're right. You've got a bunch of chances. That It's going to be super interesting to watch. Not only are the matches going to be great, but just that portion, the specter of All Elite Wrestling at Wrestle yep. Kingdom 13. This is going to be an, an epic night of pro wrestling. And, and if you're going, I'm jealous as hell. Enjoy your time. Happy New Year, Brainiacs. It's Wrestle Kingdom 13. It's here. It's January 4th. And this week we're dedicating, with all the YouTube videos I've watched and re-watching World Tag League matches and re-watching some of the great matches that you need to be you know, caught up on before Wrestle Kingdom here, uh, Doctor, I'd say this week I've already dedicated at least 14 hours of my time to New Japan. And now with Wrestle Kingdom, there's going to be, what, six more hours? So, Brainiacs, add a seventh hour there. Listen to this episode of Brain Buster. Yeah. Tell your friends, too. Might as well. If you, you're, you've listened to this show. Tell your friends to make sure they listen to this episode. Get ready, Brain Buster Radio style, for the biggest night of the year, Wrestle Kingdom 13, January 4th at the Tokyo Dome. Dr. Calsonis, anything left before we, we settle in for, for Tokyo Dome action? Uh, no, man. I'm again, I'm going to be sleeping extremely late today. I'm hoping to stay up until five in the morning today. So I get ready because, you know, everybody get your coffees, get your energy drinks, make sure not to eat because I know a lot of people like I do after you you get the itis and you're done. So lots of coffee, energy drinks, soda, (laughs) get whatever you need to do. Cocaine. I don't care. This is the only time to do it. Don't get the itis. Watch it live if you can. If not, uh, well, that just makes you evil. Evil. For Dr. Calsonis, for Moose the Mark on the Internet Gimmicks, Jumpin' Jacob J. Not here because he didn't want to have to w- spend time. He's, he's so nervous, he said, for this show, <laughs> Doctor. He said, I, I can't, I, I can't, I just got to focus. So, Triple J, we understand. Vin Man on limited dates, obviously. And, of course, a man called Wire, the Sultan of social media, hashtagging WK13 till the Dickens come home. I mean, he's going yeah, nuts on yep. social Tweet it, read it, tata shout it, be all about it at the brain, brain Busters on all social media gimmicks for Long Allen Ice Tea Brainiacs. I'm Long Allen Ice Tea saying I gotta get the hell out of here and watch Wrestle Kingdom 13. The old man behind Tanahashi is a piece of shit. Piece of shit. <laughs>